what is up YouTube? It's Kingfisher745, and this is going to be part 3 of Special Operations 17 Task List. Last time we stopped on Task 16 and a 36 hour research. But believe it or not, that's not going to be the last research in this Spec Ops. We'll get to that part at the end. But for now, Task 17 is to use the breaching kit. First you have to use the pistol and apply the explosive, and then you can detonate it. You'll be given 200 experience and then you can move on to number 18. For this one you have to get 2 stars of mastery in mission 2. It's always helpful if you already have the 2 stars. So when you run these missions you want to make sure you fight as many many bosses with the main boss as possible. 2 stars is pretty easy to achieve in one playthrough. Now for task 19 you have to defeat Sin or Viper in mission 3. Now they took a while to show up but they did towards the end and you'll want to run mission 3 anyways because for the next task you must defeat the winner soldier and he's the end boss of mission 3. After you defeat this boss you'll be given 200 experience and also the formula for the combat serum. But no you're not ready for the research just yet. They aren't going to make it that easy. This is just a setup for a really frustrating task. For step 21 you're going to have to collect 15 serum samples and create the combat serum in the lab. Now I only had three after all my time of running Spec Ops 17 missions. I'll be honest I was kind of in a panic over this task. It felt like it was going to take forever. But what I started to do I'm going to show you and I can't take credit for this one I actually found it on the forums. So I'm not sure who originated it but they definitely deserve our gratitude. Before I found this I was so frustrated by this task I thought maybe I wouldn't even get Falcon. I know it was probably way too early to be stressed, but I just went ahead and searched for any solution that would help, and this is what I found. First you'll want to begin by starting a brand new Mission 1. Right after you begin Mission 1 in Spec Ops 17, skip through the dialogue, and then you'll see a deploy and two threats. The deploy is for Scarlet Witch, so you will need her. It only takes one battle for her to return, and so what I like to do is do the lowest threat. It doesn't matter who you use, you just have to get through the battle. It's pretty minimal experience, but I still like to use characters who need to level up. And by the way, I do realize that some of you don't have Scarlet Witch. What you may want to do is check the other missions for a similar setup. Just look for an early deploy, but you may have to do another battle or two. Also, myself personally, I only have experience with this one, and I do have to say the Scarlet Witch deploy has a pretty high rate. I went from 3 to 15 serum samples on this alone. So the cost for that is only 20 unstable ISO 8 and then 10 energy. This will give you an excellent chance at a serum sample so that's really hard to beat. Alright so after that quick battle just go ahead and skip through everything and then you pick up Scarlet Witch. Right away you'll see whether or not you got it. Right next to your task on the left side it'll say progress and have a check mark. That time we unfortunately didn't get a sample, but skipping way ahead in time to just a little bit ago, I finally got my 15th. Once again of course I was doing mission 1 and I was doing the lowest threat. After defeating the last enemy, we went ahead and collected our deploy reward and that's when I finally finished this task. So yeah you'll get a serum sample more often than not. It's a really excellent way to complete this task and I recommend you do it before they change it. I'm not saying that they definitely will change it, but you should take advantage of this as soon as possible. Now after you get all 15, you still have to create the combat serum in the lab. This means there's a fourth research and I think this is way too much. I really hope that they never do this again. We've come to accept three researches in a spec ops, but four is just pushing it. The only point to this is to drag out our time. The first one was 8 hours, then a day, then 36 hours, and now 2 days. That's all that time wasted and not even playing the Spec Ops because if you play, you're just wasting your unstable ISO 8. And speaking of that, you also have to spend ISO every time you research. So join with me in the comment section below and let's make sure that they know if they want to add a fourth research, Make it a side quest. We've come to live with three, but four is just too much. And well, that's where we're going to have to end with this one. So I hope it helped, and I want to thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, good luck, and take care.